running out. Running out for what? She's the connection between the two points in time. This could be our way home. We can't change time. It's too late to stop it. What are we supposed to do? This is the day it all ends. Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. New next Friday, 9, 8 central on ABC. What is up, YouTube? And welcome to this Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and Avengers, or at least MCU video. So if you're new to the channel, please do drop a like and please do subscribe down below at the end if you did enjoy the video. So we've got some really, really cool stuff here to talk about today. So first of all, we are going to be talking about Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 5, Episode 8. So if you've watched the previous episode, so if you watched this week's episode, you can go and check out my review on that. I really did enjoy that episode. The review is pretty much me gushing about the entire episode, which I absolutely adored. But this is it. So at the end of the last episode, we had Robin, who you will remember is the one who received that, well, the wooden carving of the Robin, and also was the one who was the seer for the show, for the, I'm not sure who she was the seer for, but we had Enoch who knew who she was, and took fit to see her, only resulting in him being cryogenically frozen and sent to the future. So we see her again here, and she is, like they say, the point between two time. So she is, well, she's the one who survived. So she survived Earth, and she knows everything that has happened. So Fitz is able to kind of let her recall what happened, and she can provide a lot more insight as to what is going to happen in the future. So, and also the past as well. Let's, let's not forget that. So she could tell everyone exactly what has happened. So it's hinting towards the fact they may be changing time or maybe going back in time somehow. So we'll probably learn more from her, although she does seem pretty scared. And she, even though she's a lot older, she is simply just going to kind of still have that same mentality, it seems. However, there's part of me thinking that we've got Dove Cameron who's coming to the show. And we don't know who she will actually be. Originally, I thought, hold on, she could be Gwenpool because she's playing that voice or doing that voice in the kind of the new Super Team cartoon. But the thing is, what she could be playing is the middle version of Robin. So she's blonde as well. And I think that maybe she could play that role. Maybe they could go back in time or through flashbacks. And Dove Cameron could be that younger version. Maybe, I don't know, probably a long shot. But let me know what you think down below. I think that'd be a good fit. But we see this new machine here. So we've, we've uh, this could possibly be a hint towards time travel or something. Obviously, when they start doing time travel, that is a bit of a problem, to be honest. And time travel is, of course, really tough, which Fitz has mentioned. They haven't really done or touched time travel that much on Aces of S.H.I.E.L.D. So it would be kind of strange for this to actually happen. So, this is supposedly the day that this all actually ends, and we see the agents actually fighting people on the surface. So, not sure what is going on, but maybe this could be the end of everything, and this could be when the agents actually die, because we did have that prediction of Simmons actually, or uh, I'm not sure who it was, but Simmons probably dying as well by Cassius and the rest. So, could he offer sanctuary for the humans on surface to take out the agents? Yeah, that could possibly be it. But, I think that what may happen is, I think Flint is actually the key to all of this. I think that possibly what we could be getting is the fact that Flint, using his powers, could reconstruct the Earth in some way. So, I will actually be talking about that more in a video tomorrow. So stay tuned, click that subscribe with notifications on so you don't actually miss that video. So next up, we've also got Sebastian Stan, who probably is going to be in a touch, a spot of hot water here. 
because at, there was currently the there was the Ace Comic Con, which looked really, really good. I would love to go to Ace Comic Con at some point. One of my friends, actually, DC World on Twitter, go and check him out. DC World, Paul's a great guy, uh, covers everything, all of the pan- panels, all of the conventions and like that. So go and check out DCWorld.com. But at Ace Comic Con, we actually had the, well, the, the, I would say Captain America team actually on stage. So we had Sebastian, Stan as well, Mackie as well as Chris Evans. And, well, yeah, Sebastian Stan actually said this. Recently I had to be sitting next to Hugh Jackman. I didn't know what other awkward thing I could talk about, but to be like, am I going to see you soon? He said a couple of things to me, and I'll just leave it at that. Otherwise I feel like I'm going to get in trouble with somebody. I asked him, though, because I kept thinking whether or not Logan was supposed to be the last Wolverine thing or whatever. And he said to me he's been thinking about it and it's been on his mind, so I don't know he may be. So, as we know, we did have... It's been a roller coaster. So, in the days preceding the Fox deal, well, we we had him saying that he would love to reprise the role. And a few days after the Fox deal, he said that maybe he's too old. However, I don't think he's too old. I've seen The Greatest Showman. This guy can still go. And I really do think that he can still fit in being Wolverine. I think him he could be like the old man Logan in some way. So perhaps using some sort of reality manipulation, we could have this landscape of the MCU change and simply have it so that the X-Men and the Fantastic Four have always been there. So the fact that he wants to probably be in this again really does make sense because having Wolverine in this that would be amazing and having a who else can play him as Chris Evans says at Ace Comic Con he said that well, no one else can play Tony Stark yeah no one else can play Wolverine so let me know what you think in the comments please drop a like please subscribe down below and I'll see you soon and goodbye